All right, everybody, we wanted to show you this little device that we picked up off Amazon. It's a radiation monitor. It basically detects the radiation around this device, um, X, gamma, and beta rays. So we'll turn it on and show you the features real quick. It's set up right now to read in micro sieverts. Uh, that's gonna be the international unit of standard to basically measure radiation. There are different um, units in here. MR slash H is the North American and Canadian standard. Then we have clicks per second and clicks per minute. Uh, we're just gonna leave it on the micro sievert there. Um, you have different setting alarms here, dose alarm, rate alarm, and all that, and you can set up exactly how much you're exposed to over time, and the rate alarm is when the actual alarm will start the sound. So we're not gonna mess with any of that, we'll just leave it. You got a system clock and an alarm mode, three beeps, so we'll go back here and set it so it vibrates as well, and then display settings. So basically looking at it, your ambient uh, surrounding is going to be different everywhere, but ours is right around 0.14. We got this handy little card here. So really anything between 0 0.03 and 0 0.33 is acceptable for normal background radiation, no action needed. Um, an easy way for you to tell if these things are working is to grab some smoke detectors. Now, we do not recommend doing this. And if you try this, you're doing it at your own risk. Inside most ionizing, or I'm sorry, inside all ionizing smoke detectors, you have a radioactive element called americium-241. Uh, that's giving off alpha particles. And basically the quick science on it, it uses the battery to excite um, the gas in there. And then when smoke goes through it, it allows the electricity to flow through. And that's when you get your beep, beep, beep from the smoke detector. So we've taken some of these apart right here to show you. And we'll show you on the back here where it says it. Contains radioactive material, 0.9 microcurie of americium-241. So relatively low dosage. Um, they're encased in these metal housings to protect any uh, spillage coming out because alpha rays really do have a hard time penetrating aluminum and anything else. Um, so it's generally considered safe. And as you see here, we're not picking anything up on the meter. But if we set the meter exactly on top of the americium 241 case, we're gonna start to see this um, clicker go off. And we'll zoom in to show you. Get it situated here a little better. And we'll see if it'll start to rise up. And as you can see, it is increasing. Now, again, anywhere up to 0.65, you know, is deemed, I guess, okay. Let's see if we can get this thing on there better. And it does take some time to detect because, again, this is not a very strong um, or very large amount of radiation. There you go. You see the alarm goes off at 0 0.50 sieverts or 0 0.50 micro sieverts an hour. This smoke detector is probably about 30 years old, but the half-life on this type of radiation is hundreds of years. So it's really picking up what it's giving off right now. And if you move it around, you can generally get better readings. It just really depends on how close to the probe it is in there. As you see, 
we got it sitting right where it's off gassing some of that radioactive material, those alpha uh, particles into the air. So at 0.65, if you look at our little card here, uh, that's where we're getting high levels and we're right on top of the, the um, smoke detector. And see, it'll change because again, radiation is gassing off and moving all around the air. So we'll pull it off this one and we'll get it on this newer one here and we'll set it right on there and check what the level is on this newer one. Try and get it set up. And this, this smoke alarm is only about a year or two old and you see it's jumping up much higher now. We're almost hitting 1.0 microsieverts and as you can see there, we're getting up to the high level or past the high level. So it is closely watch the reading out and find out. We know that it's high because we're sitting right on top of the Americium 241 inside the smoke detector. But if you pull it off and drop that away, you'll see how quick this drops back down. And again, it's not, it's not like it's super, super far away, but it will drop off. See? So is it a real danger in the smoke detector? Not really, that's why they put it in smoke detectors, but this is a good way to check to make sure your counter is working. And we'll put it back on there to show you again. Jumps right back up. Oh wow, we're almost at two micro sievert. So as you can see, this little device actually does work. So it is a decent device. Um, looking in the background settings, that's just your dose ratings and all that. And you're gonna set that up according to however you wanna read this thing. Uh, we found that clicks per minute are the easiest to read, but not extremely accurate because there's such a wide range between. So really stay between this uh, MRH or the microsieverts per hour. Those are gonna be your two most accurate readings to tell you what's going on. But yeah, good little device to have. Definitely comes in handy. So hope this helps.